It was a newspaper advertisement like this that brought people from all over the country to come to live and to work in Bordemona here in Ballyleague and Lanesborough in the 1950s and 60s. The ad offered a new beginning and a working wage for hundreds of men and women and when they arrived they lived here initially in the billets and the new residential camps set up at Clontuskert. For the next six decades they harvested the peat and the turf from these bogs to help to meet the energy demands of a nation. They worked hard, they set up new families here and settled down in the Bordemona estates. And the money they earned helped to educate their children and build a new community. Everyone who worked for Bordemona knew that the time would come when the argument in favour of reducing carbon emissions on this earth would outweigh the economic benefits of burning turf and peat. But they were promised a period of just transition to help adapt and to make that change. That transition was supposed to mean a gradual reduction of peat burning at this power station and a move to using biomass over a 10 year period. But legal moves reduced that transition period from 10 years to 10 months and hundreds of local workers were presented with the option of taking early redundancy. Some of those leaving were approaching retirement age but many were still in their 40s and 50s and that's where the new Lockery Access for All community project came in. A plan was prepared by the community to build a new National Waterways Recreational Centre at the Quayside in Bally League and help re-employ those leaving the bog in the outdoor recreational tourism business. With the help of Roscommon County Council and leader, a community tourism business was set up and huge investment put in the area's finest natural resource, fishing on Loch Ree, that is today attracting more than 10,000 visitors per year to the community for festivals and events and helping to create jobs both directly and indirectly. The project has been supported by the government's Just Transition Fund, Inland Fisheries Ireland and private industry and the future is bright. Rural tourism is the future for our community. Bally League is proud of its place and its past, but it looks ahead now with optimism and a new hope as we rewrite its future. A future we can all look forward to.